Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at how to use Revit to create a barrel. Here I am in Revit 2016, and as you can see, I have a barrel in front of me. This type of family, the way I built it, is it actually has several parameters that define the number of slats that I put input. So if I increase or decrease that number, the family will update accordingly. If I go into it, I can also take a look at things like the outer ring support radius, the inner ring support radius, and the height. The outer, the inner ring support radius is nothing more than a formula. That is the outer ring radius minus one inch. So if I make changes to say the outer ring is being five feet, hit apply, you can see the barrel gets larger. If we go in here and we change this number again to increase the number of slats, we can see how it gets adjusted. So how did I build this? What's happening is if I go to the floor plan view, we can see that we can select any single one of these slats. And these slats have been basically arrayed in a radial pattern. Well, these slats themselves are an actual family. So I have taken a custom family called a slat and nested it inside another family. If I go to the families uh, under the project browser and right click and head over to look at that barrel slat, this is what the 3D family looks like. And if I go to the floor plan view, you'll notice that I have set up a radius for the slat position for the ring supports. If you go into the family types, you'll see slat position for ring support radius is five feet, slat height is six feet. Once I've set this up, I load this into my family that's called the barrel family. <clears throat> And in this family, that object is basically arrayed. That array actually is a number, okay? And so if I go to the uh, family types window again, number of slats is actually the number in the array. The outer ring support radius is nothing more than a parameter that controls how large it is, and the inner one uh, likewise, and the height as well. Uh, and that's it. Once you've set it up this way, you can go ahead and build your family, and this is what it looks like. So if I make adjustments to say, let's make this uh, three foot, not so big, then it looks a little tighter and neater. And that's how you create a barrel in Revit. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. 